Hey, are you looking for CFT, Chrome for testing, Selenium 4.11.0, update around Chrome 115 or onwards, then you are at the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vikran and I welcome you to my YouTube channel Cornerstring. In this video, I am going to talk about three points. Point number one, CFT, Chrome for testing. A dedicated and separate Chrome browser for testing only. Note, CFT update is only for Chrome, not for other browsers such as Firefox, Safari, etc. Point number two, from where we can download the executable files for Chrome and Chrome driver for 115 and onwards. And last but not the least, Python code using new Chrome update to launch the CFT browser and click on any web element. So without further ado, let's discuss these all one by one. So let's start with this uh, blog uh, from the Chrome developers team. Chrome for testing reliable downloads for browser automation. Right, so uh, an auto update, great for users, painful for developers. So one of the Chrome's most notable features is its ability to auto update. Users are happy to know that they are running an up-to-date and secure browser version, including modern web platform, features browser features and bug fixes at all time this is for the generic people right who are using the chrome for the internet users perspective however as a developer or as a, as a tester uh, running a suite of end-to-end -end tests you might have an entirely different perspective right you want consistent reproducible results across repeated test runs but this may not happen if the browser executable or binary decides to update itself in between two runs so this may happen with you as well right uh, um, that you last night you checked your code it was working fine and uh, the next morning you start with the execution of the code and you have experienced uh, uh, the error right so most of the reasons in majority of the cases the error is just you know because your chrome web driver is not matching with the chrome version you're using on your local machine right so you want to pin a specific browser version and check that version number into your source code repository so that you can check out old commits and branches and rerun the tests against the browser binary from that point in time okay so now the next question is that uh, from uh, where we can uh, download the uh, chrome for testing binaries uh, but before that the solution which they have proposed to us is the chrome for testing the cft it's designed to solve these problems so cft is a dedicated guys i repeat it's a dedicated flavor of chrome targeting the testing use case without auto update without auto update integrated into the chrome release process made available for every chrome release okay now uh, let's move to the uh, this what's new in selenium manager with selenium 4.11.0 so selenium 4.11.0 it ships very relevant new features of selenium manager support from uh, support of chrome for testing endpoints for chrome driver management and automated chrome management based also on cft right uh, so as of version 4.6.0 or releases of selenium are shipped with selenium manager selenium manager is a binary tool that provides automated driver management for selenium selenium manager is still in beta although it is becoming a relevant component of selenium right so uh if i open the document for the web driver manager 4.0.0 uh from the python perspective then you know the web driver manager for python uh the main idea is to simplify the management of binary drivers for different browser uh, which is compatible with selenium 4.x and below what we used to do before uh, you need to download the Chrome driver binary, unzip it somewhere on a PC and set the path to this driver like this, right? So uh, you need to check that what is the version that you are uh, using on your system of the Chrome and then you, uh, you know, check the Chromium uh, web page and then uh, download the executable file of the Chrome driver from there and then save it on your local machine or the directory where you are writing up the code and then you have to pass that 
particular path in the webdriver.com so this was this was something which we were used to do before the introduction of this uh, webdriver manager now uh, we just uh, we can uh, do this all in two simple steps you just need to install the webdriver manager right so uh, from selenium you can import the webdriver and then uh, uh, this is the handy code which you can take from this particular web page right and uh, uh, what what chrome will uh, actually what uh, uh, selenium manager will do selenium manager will check for the uh, chrome version you are using on your system and then uh, this line of the code the chrome driver manager dot install right uh, this one so this will help uh, in understanding that okay this is the version you are using on the local machine of the chrome then this will directly go to your chromium page and then it will install that particular matching web driver version and then you do not have to you know every time it gives the path in order to uh, make your code uh, execute okay so uh, that's all from the uh, web driver manager for python perspective as well now coming on to the chromium page you remember that uh, you know we need to uh, download the executable files the binary files from this web page uh, so all the uh, uh, executable files uh, 114 or uh, you know 114 or below than 114 you can download it from this uh, the chromium page right so they have all the chrome driver executable files available here but now from 115 or newer please consult the chrome for testing availability dashboard so this is the cfta uh, the chrome for testing availability dashboard they have introduced this time and this page provides convenient json endpoints for specific chrome driver version downloading right so for 115 or the newer uh, chrome version if you need the binary files you have to go and check for the available uh, executable files in the chrome for testing availability dashboard so let's see how it looks like so chrome for testing availability and you can see that you know on the uh, they have given the uh, logo as well the the chrome and then you know the test in between so this is the logo for the cft chrome for testing so this page lists the latest available cross-platform chrome for testing version and assets for chrome release channel and uh, you can see that the stable beta dev and canary these all versions are available and so if i check for the chrome version in my system uh, so i'm using the 116 and it's a 64 bit and chrome is up to date right so uh in order to download the binary files for 116 what i can do i can click on this stable release and then you can see that you know uh, you have the chrome executable file also available here and your chrome driver as well right so in my scenario i'm using the windows uh, so what i can do i can just copy this path uh, or you can do in this way copy this path and save it here and this will start the downloading right in the similar way you can download for your chrome driver as well so chrome driver win 64 uh, open a new tab and then in this way you will be able to download the binary files for chrome and chrome driver as well okay uh, now let's jump on to the pycharm where we will start writing up the code and we'll cover both the aspects so first of all we'll uh, use the 116 and uh, we'll run the uh, script in the normal browser the chrome browser and then again we will write one python code we will use the cft with the 116 version to run the code and we'll see the difference okay so let's start with the pycharm uh, first of all i'm just creating one new python file let's name it uh, without cft okay guys we just need to ensure that what is the version that we are using on our system for the uh, selenium right so what in pycharm what you can do just click on the settings icon here and in the python interpreter you should be able to click on this plus icon here and then type selenium so uh, in my system i'm already using a latest version that is the spe specified version you can see 4.11.2 right so i also uh, uh, urge you guys to in uh, please uh, upgrade your selenium to this version the latest version so that you do not uh, face any kind of the errors okay uh, let's start with the code then from selenium uh, 
your import BAP driver first of all and then from selenium uh, dot BAP driver BAP driver dot chrome dot options import options from selenium dot BAP driver dot chrome dot service import service right and the next one is from selenium uh, dot web driver dot com one dot by and import sorry dot common dot by dot import by okay and then uh, from selenium or this time be it will be from web driver manager uh, dot chrome import your chrome driver manager right so these are the prerequisites uh, which we always use uh, before running the code okay now in the next one uh, what we can do uh, we can just use the URL what we are going to use so the URL which I would like to open up is HTTPS and then your www.python.org that's it okay now the first thing uh, is that chrome I'm creating one instance for the chrome options and your options then chrome options dot add experimental option you remember in last video I told you that why we use the detach and true here because uh, every time you know whenever the uh, code execution uh, stops so your window will also get close uh, your window will also get closed by default but by adding the chrome option dot add experimental option details true uh, you ensure that after the execution of the script even your web uh, your web page or the browser doesn't uh, close your uh, you know the page which you are automating all right okay now the next portion will be uh, uh, to chrome options we have already done now the next one is to create the driver instance as well so driver your web driver dot your chrome dot your chrome and then you use the service service is equal to your service and then your chrome uh, driver manager your chrome driver manager and then dot install and then your options is equal to chrome options and then driver dot get url and then we'll maximize driver dot maximize the window okay uh, so before we run this code uh, let's see that how it will work your chrome driver manager will check uh, into the c drive into the users and here is a folder which is called as the dot wdm right so in wdm uh, what it will check it will go and check whatever the version of the chrome you're using so in my system it's 116 so then it will go to the wdm folder and will see whether uh, the chrome driver is available on your system or not if not then it will install and save the copy of the executable file here right uh, if it's already available then it will pass and will run the code so this is the one-time activity that uh, the chrome driver manager the web driver manager will perform on your system okay so let's run this code and see uh, uh, the functionality This will take some time because now the installation process uh, is performing at the back end. So you can see that you know Chrome is being controlled by the automated test software. So from this info bar message, you can understand that we are running our automated script in the uh, uh, you know the real browser, the normal browser. Okay, and in the WDM folder, uh, a new folder has been created with the driver, and then there is a Chrome driver then there is a win 64 and you can see that 116 is the chrome version which i'm using and it has installed the chrome driver uh, executable file as well 
right okay so uh, this is the normal functionality and uh, you can see that you know uh, uh, the python uh, with this selenium it has open a browser for us the python.org and chrome is being controlled by automated test software from this info bar, we understood that this is the normal real browser we are using okay now uh, let's close this one and then we will do another exercise and that will be with the help of the CFT okay so I'm going to create another one Python file here uh, let's say with CFT this time so I'm just copying the code because the process is going to remain same uh, up to uh, up to some extent I would say okay uh, now what I will do I will just go to the space the CFT dashboard and we'll click on this table right and i need the uh, chrome exe file for me win64 okay so i already have downloaded it right uh, so what i will do i will just click on this one and in the folder i will just copy it uh, copy and then we'll go to the python project here and let's open uh, in the explorer right so we'll create one new folder here uh, let's say cft driver okay and in the cft driver i'm going to place the file oops it's not copied oh yeah it's copied okay and let's extract the files here okay uh, okay so now I can delete uh, this zip file folder right uh, so let's delete this one okay now in the Chrome win 64 uh, there's another folder with the same name so what I'm going to do I'm just copying this information and then saving it here okay and then delete this one we do not require it okay uh, now we are good let's close this one and then we will perform some changes uh, so these lines of the code will remain same uh, what I'm going to do extra here is uh, now because we need two files one will be the chrome exe file and the second one will be the chrome uh, driver file right so in order to uh, make Python understand that where we have stored the uh, chrome exe file I'm going to use here uh, chrome options dot my binary location that is equal to so you can get the path uh, of the chrome exe file from here uh, this one and then right click and then copy the path in reference path from content root uh, okay so this is the path and then within the quotes this should be and as we are taking the path from the directory then what we need to do just add the backslashes okay and that's all okay let's click on the with CFT uh, and let's run all right and the change which you can observe is that you know now in the info bar message it's changed uh, to Chrome for testing and then your Chrome version is only for automated tested testing right and for regular browsing use a standard version of Chrome that updates automatically and in the right hand side at the top at the top you will be able to download the Chrome as well they have given the link as well right so this is the CFT uh, uh, CFT view Chrome for testing with this info bar message you can see that uh, we are using the CFT for the automation testing right so so that's all as of now uh, what uh, I was able to find uh, this method only to open the CFT by using the Python and selenium but in case like but in case if you have came across the another method where we do not have to provide the path for the uh, Chrome uh, or the Chrome driver file then uh, 
please feel free to drop your message in the comment section below and uh, definitely uh, this will be good for the community right and i think like you have found this video informative so i urge you all to please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for all the upcoming notifications and yes definitely this will motivate me to bring more informative content like this thanks for watching bye bye